Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about installing a firewall. Now, this is going to be useful for everybody that's looking for protection, whether it's at home, work, or maybe if you're out on the road and you want to jump onto a public Wi-Fi and you just want to double check to make sure that you are not having any malware, virus, or any of that type of stuff trying to come in and corrupt your computer. Now, I will have a link in the description on... Actually, I'll probably post a picture right now. And as you can see, this is going to be from the official Ubuntu.com website saying the kind of benefits of why Linux is already kind of protected already. But again, firewall is probably the most important thing over antivirus because it's actually going to prevent things from happening. Uh, whereas since a Linux machine is based on a two sides, whereas one side is going to be for the user and then there's going to be also the root side, which is going to be for the super user. So since files can't get into the super user side of things without you letting them in there, uh, that's going to be the kind of first deterrent on stopping malware, virus, and all that type of stuff getting on your computer. So to actually install this free open source uh, software, remember this is for Linux only, go ahead and open up your terminal and you're going to type in this. The sudo apt get install gufw. Then press enter. I already have it installed. So as you see, there we go. It should take really just about two seconds to install pretty fast. To start it up, go ahead and type in sudo gufw, press enter, and there you go. So how this little thing is going to work is you got your little status. Just go ahead and enable it. There we go. And as you see, there's going to be different profiles in here. If you want to add or edit your profiles, just go up to edit, preferences, and you got a few little options to work with. Uh, if you see your interval uh, refresh rate, your office, public, home. If I want to add another one, just get this little plus down there. There's a profile. Just double click it, name whatever I want to name on it. Close. As you can see, there it is. Um, now, what we're saying here is my incoming traffic is going to be denied. My outcoming traffic is going to be allowed. So that's like saying if I want to go and search for something that's fine on the internet, that's all going to be okay. Um, if I'm going to be playing games on certain programs that are going to need to kind of ping back to me some data, that's where this is going to be kind of a problem. Now to fix that, you can just come in down to rules and you come down to this little plus sign and you can add a kind of new rule. Now there's obviously the pre-configured, simple, and advanced. Uh, I'm going to recommend most people sticking within the pre-configured and simple as the advanced is advanced. If you know how firewalls work and all that, you can get in there and kind of have fun with it. So what we're saying here is allow uh, direction in. So since we allow it in, you will notice that incoming has been denied, but we're actually going to allow a single website or program to have access into our computer that we trust. Um, category, come in here and put what it is. And a subcategory if you want to add even more subcategories to that to kind of keep it. Uh, now again, if you are finding problems with it, you probably might need to enable or sorry, disable your firewall. So just remember that if you're going to disable it, you're just going to come in and type sudo gufw. This little thing will pop up again, and you can just come in here, click the status, and the status should disable itself. And that's all it needs to come uh, when it comes down to getting a firewall set up on your Chromebook. Or sorry, <laughs> Chromebook. I am running on a Chromebook, but for your Linux distro. Uh, it's extremely easy to do, as you see. Uh, there's going to be a listening report down here, kind of blocking things that are going on. As you see, we have a bunch of stuff kind of going on. This is what it's paying attention to. And then the log. This is all the stuff that has been happening. As you see, enable, disabled, enable, disabled, enable, disabled. There's that little profile that I created. And the interval on that is, I think, about 3 to 15 seconds. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments on getting or setting this up, you know, this section is down below, the comment section. Go ahead and leave something there, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. As always, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.